Hello, denizens of the internet. So, uh, there has been a firestorm over the announcement of Charmaine Obeyed Choi as Star Wars' first female director. I commented briefly on it in this video from the perspective that Disney really needs to keep a tighter rein on the rookie talent to insist on digging the hole Disney is in deeper rather than reaching out and trying to make peace with the existing fans. I think enough has already been said about this topic, but God almighty, I can't believe the insane pushback I've gotten, and with the weakest excuses. Believe it or not, there are rabid fans of the Disney Star Wars trilogy. <laughs> Yeah, who could believe that? As well as all the other garbage they've pushed out into onto Disney Plus, like Ahsoka. Those of us on this side of the Sanosphere know how rabid the Disney Star Wars apologists are. And when we wonder, how can Disney keep shoving one loser after another out their door? We only need to look at this crowd. I'm not even sure you can call them fans. They're, they're more like a posse of sycophants constantly buzzing around their favorite act, continuously telling them how great they are. Of course, any poor schmuck is going to want to believe their posse over the naysayers, yeah. I remember when the Frantics were doing the stand-up circuit, and there was one really terrible comic, but because they were special and collected a certain type of fan, I recall one time when they Oh, just bombed horribly, and their posse was all over them in the green room telling them how great they were and how bad the audience was. I, I think that's the service these gadflies perform for Disney, and especially for the Star Wars crew. We call this an echo chamber. I mean, look, but frankly, we, we are just as susceptible to our own echo chambers. Look, let's be real. I'm not willfully blind to that, but the excuses coming from these super fans of what I'm going to call Dark Wars, after I'm naming them after the Dark Ages, is, is just plain silly. Let's start with this one from Jacob with a lowercase j and a period at the end. Dropping a casual friendly reminder to everyone getting unnecessarily angry and upset over this quote, just because a franchise doesn't age with you or go in the direction that you particularly envision does not make it bad. No, Jacob, you dim bulb. I guarantee you if Catherine Bigelow was announced as the director, there would be little to no complaints from us because she has directed a major hit, not just a few documentaries on why Pakistani men are bad. That is the entire argument. Also, from a dude's perspective, Bigelow directed stuff that went boom. That is a big deal for us. Someone else suggested Bryce Dallas Howard, who has movie cred and even has Star Wars experience with the Book of Boba Fett and The Mandalorian. And here's an example of just how thin the onion slices are getting. Grand Admiral Boba responded, Yes, many women have helped shape Star Wars, including Marcia Lucas, Carrie Fisher, Lee Brackett, and countless others. But Charmaine Obeyed Chinoy will be the first woman to direct a Star Wars movie. That's an accomplishment. And she has every right to be proud of it. She isn't dissing them, first of all saying that her greatest enjoyment comes from making men uncomfortable. And that's a quote. Uh, I, I would call that a diss. Anyway, so Deborah Chow, who directed six, like, 45-minute uh, episodes of Obi-Wan Kenobi, doesn't count? Then Frederick responded to that with, not a movie. That is correct. Six shows at about 45 minutes each would have been two whole movies. And apparently, it, they cost $15 million per episode. Then Sheev Talks replied, You're right. A woman being handed a show sent out to a dying platform is absolutely the same as a woman getting the chance to direct a theatrically released feature film. You're very smart. <coughs> Ouch! That burned. Dissing the work of Chow just because it was played on Disney Plus was a cheap shot. And besides, Obi-Wan was originally slated as a movie, but then the solo disaster happened and the Disney execs changed their minds. They got cold feet. It's 
not any less of an effort to mount a six-part effects-laden Dark Wars TV show than doing a movie. I, I don't know where these people are getting their ideas from or whether they were, you know, dropped on their head from birth. I should add that Charmaine Obeyed Chinoy did direct episodes four and five of the Miss Marvel TV show on Disney Plus starring Kamala Khan. Four, five, and six were the absolute worst episodes of that series, in my opinion. Yes, comments can get spicy here on YouTube, but Charmaine is not doing herself any favors by delivering those tone-deaf quotes. But on the other hand, I'm sure the rainbow Nazis at Disney beamed with delight hearing them from their diversity lottery winner. Don't get mad at us Star Wars fans calling out the obvious. Let me end by saying what I always say, the proof will be in the final product. Just because I don't think she's qualified for the job doesn't mean I don't honestly wish Charmaine the best of luck. I've never had anything against Daisy Ridley either. I thought she was luminous in the first Dark Wars movie, but it, it didn't do her any favors. She is a good actress who read the shit that was presented her and performed as per the instructions of incompetent directors. Could Charmaine do better than J.J. and Ryan? Sure, but that's a very low bar. Till next time, denizens. Be seeing you.